Never Stop Learning Week 330. We're going to take a quick look at how to enable paint symmetry in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. All right, so paint symmetry is not a new feature just yet. It's actually just a technology preview for now. And that's why you have to enable it first. All right, so I'm working on a Mac, so I'm gonna hit Command K on my keyboard, and that's gonna bring up my preferences. If you're using a window machine, you wanna hit Control K to bring them up. All right, so over here on the left, all the way down at the bottom, you have technology previews. Click on that once, and over here at the top, you get a list of what technology previews are available. All right, so on my machine, over here at the top, we have one that's already turned on for us, and that one's turned on by default. Next, we have paint symmetry. So I'm gonna click over here on this box, and now I have enabled paint symmetry. And notice if you hover over the text, in the description, you get a breakdown of how this actually works. Now, the main thing I want you to focus on is that you have to use the brush, pencil, or eraser tool if you wanna paint in symmetry. All right, so now we're all set. I'm gonna come over here, click OK. And over here on the bottom right, I actually have my paths panel open. If you don't have yours open, come over here to the window menu at the top, scroll through, find paths, and when you click on that, it's gonna bring up the paths panel for you. All right, so how do we find this uh, symmetrical feature? Well, you have to use one of the tools that was listed in the description. So I'm gonna hit the B key to activate the brush tool. Over here at the top in the options bar, you're gonna see this new icon. It looks like a butterfly. And that's where you set the symmetry options for painting. All right, so let's click on that. In here, you have a couple different presets you could go with. I'm actually gonna use the basic one over here at the top, which is a new vertical axis. All right, so I'll click on that once. All right, so now we have it set up here. We're currently in this uh, transformation mode, so I could rotate it or reposition it if I needed to. All right, so I'm gonna undo that. Just click OK. And there we go, I have a vertical axis, and now I can start drawing a symmetry. So if I draw anything on the right side, you'll see it over there on the left, and if I draw anything on the left side, you'll see it on the right, okay? I'm gonna undo that. Let's take a look at the options. Back over here, I'm gonna click on that icon and we could actually turn the symmetry off. So now we're no longer drawing in symmetry. Back in the options, we could turn it back on by using the last use symmetry. All right, we could actually access several different ones and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. All right, next, we'll come down here towards the bottom. We could transform the symmetry if we need to. Click okay. All right, down at the bottom, hide symmetry. All right, so we still have symmetry happening, but you don't see the axes right there in the middle of your document. All right, to turn it back on, go into your options and choose show symmetry. All right, so that's pretty much a basic breakdown of this. Over here at the top, I wanna add a couple more. Let's go with a dual axes, click okay. Next, I'm gonna add new parallel lines. Click OK. Now, if you notice over here on the bottom right in the paths panel, it shows all three. We have vertical, dual, and parallel. Now, currently parallel is the one that's activated. You could see this little uh, butterfly icon and it's underlined. So if I draw right here in the middle, you'll see it on the left and the right. I'll then do that. What if we wanted to use our dual axes? Well, you wanna click on it to activate it, then hit the A key to activate your path selection tool. Click and drag to select these paths, and then hit the B key to bring up the brush tool. Back in the symmetry options, we're gonna choose this guy here. It says selected path, and now we get a option to transform it. I'm gonna click okay. Now we're set. Now I'm able to draw in symmetry using the dual axis preset. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at how to enable paint symmetry in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018.